scripture where Christ put the family back together. Yes. Because guess what? When guess what? We know they know the Bible. So guess what? When the split of the first kings, guess what? You know where I'm going. Show me one scripture when Christ put the family back together. Ephesians 2. You don't know. Uh, Ephesians 2 what? Ephesians 2 what? Oh yeah, let's go there. 19. Let's go. Let's get it. No, let's, let's get, get it. Let's get it. Hey, Ephesians one verse one. Well, that's what we're gonna have to start it. Yeah, because we got to see who the book is written to and who and who is it for. I read. I read. This is the book of Ephesians, chapter one, verse one. Bring it on. Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ, by the will of God. To the saints. So who are the saints? Keep reading it. Who are the saints? Bring it out. No, we're gonna deal. We're gonna deal with. We're gonna deal with. Who are the saints? Who are the saints? Who are the saints? Okay. Okay. We hear you talking. But who are the saints? Who are the elect? That's right. Bring it out. The Lord is saying. See, that's what I'm talking about. Y'all keep dealing with Jews and Gentiles, but y'all never deal with. Y'all never. Hold on, Maccabees. Y'all never deal with. Hold on. I don't need no distraction. That's right. So we got this. I promise you. That's right. You never. Yeah, what we see you go from place to place. Guess what? Yeah. But where's your Bible? You doing a lot of stuff. I got it memorized. You got it memorized? Do. You want me to read it for you? You got it memorized? Yeah. Well, tell me what Deuteronomy chapter uh, 32 verse 7 says. Okay. Deuteronomy 32. It's a song of Moses. It's a lie. It's the book of Psalms. Chapter 48 verse 14. He also exalted a horn of his people. The praise of all his Saints, read. Even of the children of Israel. Who the saints are? I thought we were in Ephesians. Why are you jumping out of that? So guess what? All of a sudden, now all of a sudden, y'all don't go precept upon precept. Now all of a sudden, you don't go precept upon. Stop playing with me. All of a sudden, you don't want to play. Contact. Come on, talk to me. Talk to your minions. Hey, hey, talk to your minions. That's what Jesus is the word. You know what precept upon precept. Now all of a sudden, now we don't do it no more. Now we don't do it no more, right? Okay, you a liar, and you the devil of it. Read. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter yeah. 45 and verse 4. Just because you, hey, just because, just because you got your hair spring, you don't mean your hair grow. Read. <laughs> but Jacob, my servant, say, uh -huh. and Israel, my elect. And who is the elect? And Israel, my elect. Go bomb, go bomb, go bomb, go bomb, go bomb. We don't need hey. nothing on the sidelines, man. Look, hey, y'all. Hey, hey, Maccabee. Look, come on. Y'all come on over here. Y'all gonna, gonna talk, y'all going over the other side. Y'all going on the other side. Come on, y'all gonna talk, y'all move to the other side, man. Yeah. Let's get some water. Yeah. Y'all need some water. Y'all damn sure need some water, because guess what? You gonna need some water after a while. Read. Chapter 45 and verse 4. We got little water. For Jacob, my servant's sake. And Israel, my elect. Who is his elect? And Israel, my elect. Israel stop being in Jesus' Wait a minute. Now it's our people that is Isaiah 49. Now it's our people that is Isaiah 49. Nope. Our people is tired of the head now. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. You don't like it. But guess what? Guess what? Guess what? You're going to be hurt there, Ian, too, because everyone found going to be thrust. That's right. This is the book of Ephesians, chapter 1 and verse 1. Uh -huh. Paul, Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ, uh -huh. by the will of God, to the saints, to the saints, 
of Ephesus, of Ephesus, which are at Ephesus, which are at what? Which are at Ephesus. So is that our people or is they talking to the saints? Hold on, is that our people or is it talking to the saints? In Ephesus. In Ephesus. So when? So no, it say Jews and Gentiles. They said to Ephesus. So it's all the saints which were no. You assume it. So we literally read. Hold on, we literally read what this says. Now all of a sudden, now you be full blown taking the scripture. It is either supposed to say that or not. Yeah. We going there. Yeah. We going there. But guess what? But you're you 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 don't you you not. I know you can't. I know. I know. We I'm going there next. We gonna see. But guess what? You know you ain't tell us who the saints were first. That's right. Tell us who the saints. Who are the saints? The elect of God. Who are the elect? Who are the elect? Who are the elect? Read it. Let's read it again. Let's read it again. Because we told you who the saints were, y'all full blown rejected. We told you who the elect were, you full blown rejected. But then, no, no, you rejected the Bible because we literally read the Bible and you didn't accept it. So you full blown rejected. I know, I know, I know. Yeah, let me know when we get past the saints. Wake me up when you get there. Okay. The book of Ephesians, chapter one, verse one. Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ, by the will of God, to the saints, to the what? To the no, you don't, because you didn't admit who the saints that's were. Right. That's who right. are the right. saints? That's right. Let's who are the elect? The Let's Holy get Israel ones. according to the to the, the spirit. Read it. Galatians three. Israel according to the spirit. <laughs> Galatians you talking about? This is the book of Psalms, chapter fifty and verse five. Read it. Read it. Gather my saints together uh -huh. unto me, those that have made a covenant. With me by sacrifice. By what? By, by sacrifice. Flesh. That's not by the spirit. That's by flesh. Now all of a sudden, now all of a sudden, y'all want to play tap? Don't tap dance. That's not tap dance. Who are the saints? That's right. Who are the saints? Who are the saints? Say it out your mouth, devil. Who are the saints? Yeah, I know. You can't say it. That's right. You can't say it. That's right. You doing all that, but you don't want to deal with scripture. Who are the saints? Who are the saints? I promise you, I will deal with Ephesians 2 when you tell me who the saints are. Tell me who the saints are. Ephesians 2 tells you. Who are the saints? 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 Y'all keep on doing the same thing. What did the scripture say? What did the scripture say? No, you're not telling me. This is the book of Romans, chapter 9 and verse 4. Who are Israelites? Who are Israelites? Oh. To whom pertained the adoption? Who pertained the adoption? And the glory. And the hope. And the glory. What's that given to, man? Keep it out. Let it explain. In, but I promise you, we going to read this. Yeah. I promise you. have been saying that for 10 yeah. minutes. Yeah. But guess what? You had to tell us who the saints were here. That's right. And I'm glad you're growing your damn beard out, bro. That's right. That's right. That's right. And the covenant. And the covenant. And the covenant. And the giving of the law. And the giving of the law. Who's giving the law? Don't go fast. Read. Who's giving the law? And, and the, the service of God words. and the promises. Who was who is this going into? Uh -oh. Keep going. Go who is this going right. into? Keep going. Right. But you think we're going to stop? You think we're scared? You think we're scared because y'all on the block? You are scared. You are scared. You are scared. You are scared. Look here, man. I'm going to tell you something. You mentioned the promises. Now go to Ephesians You see your buddy stood to the back. Now go to Ephesians 2. That's right. You see your buddy stood to the back. That's right. Because y'all didn't answer the question. He don't know where y'all are. Hell yeah. That's right. Talk that noise if you want. But you know your ring leader had to step to the back. Hell yeah. Show you who Christ came for, cause y'all think this thing is a joke, man. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead and, and grab your, you grab your, grab your script. You gonna, you gonna get on your videos and y'all gonna butcher it up all you want to, but you can't run, you can't hide. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 15, verse 24. Oh, no, no. Christ came for the Get around it, huh? You can't get around it. Get around it. You going to 
Bring it out. I see you, girl. Back there. We remember you, too. Yeah, Ring. 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 Bring it out! Because you, you don't want to
I know. All right, three. 22. Boy, he hey, shall grow up before him as a tender plant. God, this, is Christ, this is Christ. This is Christ. Read. And as a root out of a dry ground. Uh -oh, he had no form nor coming. He said he had no form nor coming. He's reading. And we, when, when we shall see him, there is no beauty that we should desire. There ain't going to be no beauty that, we, that people going to be wanting to desire Christ, man. We agree That's with right. all this, though. This is in a point of contention. But but what is the point of contention? Here's right. what it is. It says he's going to have seed, but did Christ have any children? No, he's coming from a so, bloodline. No, no, I know. Let's go I through. understand. Okay. It's not a true question. Did Christ have any children? No. But doesn't it say his offspring will live forever at the end of the chapter? But what is that going to? Look at the Go ahead. Question, my Go ahead. He has no. You know bro, the answer. You ain't got no answer, man. You wicked as hell, man. I'm gonna deal with you. Okay. But that brother wicked as hell. Yeah. I need wicked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, he wicked. Yeah, he wicked. Yeah, he wicked. Yeah. Hey, praise God. He said wicked sinners. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
But the fact is, you see how you see how you you put a whole a whole thing on the plate. Then now you tell him, you tell him, he said come set the natter. No, you can't set the natter on it. Hey, hey, back me, the ball, man, y'all, hey, look here. We stand the day, we stand the day. back room, man. We right. right. This is the book of First Peter, chapter four, verse eleven. Hey, 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 hey hold on. Everybody time. over six okay, four, man. Down. Hold up. <laughs> if any man speak, let him do it. Well, we're we're gonna read it. Yeah, well, uh, we're going to read it. Yeah, we're going to read it. Alright, that was God right quick. Don't go back to John. Okay? The book of 1 Peter. Chapter 4, verse 11. Bring it out, If any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of God. If any man minister, let him do it as the ability which God given. That's right. That God in all things That's right. may be glorified through Jesus Christ. That's right. So guess what? We're in agreement on that. So, but it was, so, so you can't you can't add your add your uh, 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 narrative on That's it. right. You trying to add? You literally trying to add Every your narrative on it? Everything I said is backed by the scripture. Okay. But we can finish John one. Okay. This is the book of John, chapter 1 and verse 10. He was in the world, and the world was made by him. Uh -huh. He's God. He's God. Let's just God, by the way. <laughs> what? Who it's makes all things? So who made the world, man? Everybody? What? Christ Jesus. Right. Who, in the Old Testament, in the beginning, who created the heavens and earth? Christ. Well, the text literally says, what? In the beginning, who we know it's Elohim. Come on, man. Stop. Right. No, I'm not, I'm not trying to do a Hebrew Stop trick. Place, it's not a trick. What I'm saying is, by the past, no, I'm connecting the old and new. I think you would appreciate that. I'm connecting the old and new. I appreciate What it's saying. I appreciate y'all leaving our Bible home. What it's saying is, what it's saying is, it's just failed. But that's what that shows. But continue on. That's important. This is the book of John. Chapter 1 and verse 10, he was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. So what does that what? So that's important. That's prophecy, though. Tie this all in. That's prophecy, right? That is prophecy. That's prophecy. Okay, okay. Isaiah 53, which we read earlier. Yeah, that's prophecy. They were supposed to destroy. It's supposed to happen. Read. We're not going to be in the book of Acts, chapter 4, verse 4. 4, verse 4. How big? Many of them which heard the word believed, and the number of the men was about five thousand. So guess what? We always, we always, we always had a rim. Bring it out, huh? Right. No matter how you feel. That's the new Israel. Yeah, I know. No, that ain't the new Israel. Guess what? Go to Ecclesiastes 4 and 16, man. Because you're trying to make an end of people. And guess what? The scripture said. I'm not trying to end the people. I'm trying to expand it according to Isaiah. No, you can't. There's no expansion. According to Jesus Christ. Watch this read. This is the book of Mark, chapter 8, verse 31. And he began to teach them. And the Son of Man must suffer many things. See, this is going into prophecy, man. And be rejected of the elders and of the chief priests and scribes and be killed and after three days rise again. So this is, guess what? It's basically going into our leaders. They were rejecting them. The same thing they full blown do right now. Full blown reject Christ, right? right? They full blown. They not telling who our people who they are. Right. They not giving. They not giving our people the law, statutes, and commandments. No, that's right. Hold on, hold on. I'm adding. Yeah, let me show you how you're at. I'm adding. Show me how to talk to him. Bring it out, right? Huh? We're going back to John 1, but don't say I'm adding, because this literally says this right here in the scripture, But am I lying or the scripture say this? Yes, they will reject, but it's not about what you said, it's about rejecting Jesus as the Messiah. You're misunderstanding the very mission of the No, I'm not. I know they're going to reject Christ as the Christ's mission. Christ's mission is not to say, hey, you're He never did that once in his whole ministry. But guess what? And that's true. I'm in agreement with this. Who I am, and that's why he says, if you do not believe who I am, you will die in your sin. He doesn't say if you don't believe so, that, that Judah or the so-called yes, what? Yes, what? what does he say though? He says that unless you believe that I am, you'll die in your sin. But well, guess so what though? Guess what? You need to believe in everybody. Jesus has the so, in the scriptures, not according what? to any captain so, or general. Ew, but we need to finish John 1. We're gonna finish John 1. So, so the thing is, is but you y'all not saved. Y'all not saved either. Right. So let me tell you something. Hey, okay. Okay, you okay but check, we're going to make John 1 and 1. We can John 1 and 10. But the first the, it's mighty funny in Revelation why it's talking about the 12 gates, man. The 12 gates right. of Israel. Right. Man, it's real funny, man. Come on, man. You know what that means? Right. You know what that means? That represents the old covenant. And 
and then it's the apostles or the other names, and it says all nations. Bro, you just made it right here. You don't know how to say that. Take it away. Book of Revelation, chapter 21, verse 12. Bring it out. And at a wall, great and high, and at 12 gates, and at 12 gates, and at the gates, 12 angels, and names written down, which are the names. Of the twelve tribes of, of Israel. Israel. You ain't got to be there. Right. You ain't got to be there. Right. You don't want to be there. Anybody don't want to be there. We ain't got to be there. That's what I'm talking about. We can go cut this right quick. Read it. Yeah, we find out. This is the book of John, chapter 1, and verse 12. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God. So who are the sons of God? Bring it out. This whole thing is talking about us. Who are the sons of God? Who are the sons of God? Who are the sons of God? You keep running. You act like we don't win. We act like we're not. I didn't even like ask another question. But the thing is, how we're not. Because what are the sons of, who are the sons of God, man? Let's keep it real. Who are the sons of God? Read it according to the text. Him, well, him, okay. hold on, let's read it according yeah, to the text. You some runners, you some track stars. Yeah, you some track stars. This is the book of John, chapter 1, verse 12. Bring it out, huh? We right here. Right here. I, thought, I, I thought he was honorable and going to do this. But, but as many up, as received him, to them gave him yeah, power. Read it, John. Why don't you read along? Read. To become the sons of God. Even to them that believe on his name. Let's finish. Verse 13 is what it's all about. Verse 13, which were born. Not of blood. Not of blood. Nor of the will of the flesh. Not of the will of flesh. Nor of the will of man. Nor of the will of man. But of God. Okay. So it's not about Abraham. It's not about Isaac. It's it's not not no, about no, no. You can't do that. You can't do it. It did not say that. That's right. It did not say that. No. We ran it. You got to say what the text says. Guess what? You just say what you just said. No, I'm going to answer the question. But when we, when we go to answer the question with a good scripture, y'all stop us. Right. So how the hell are we going to let you do something that you don't want right. to tell them do? That's right. That's right. No, you don't. Because when it's our turn, you just want me to just go with what you say. Yeah, but well, we read right 14 in the name. But if, hold on, then explain to me. What does it mean, not according to the little flesh? Watch this read. This is the book of Romans, chapter what 9. What does it mean? And verse, we, you know how we deal. We answer questions with scripture. That's right. How That's we right. ever not did. That's, That's right. right. Like this is brand new. Even this bald face, I mean, you got some hair today. Even this dude right here, don't you? Well, this is the case struggle beers. Don't be talking about me. This is the book of Romans, chapter 9, verse 6. Bring it out, huh? Not as though the word of God has taken none effect. For they are not all Israel, which are of Israel. Because everybody is straight first. Guess what? Everybody ain't all Israel, read. Neither because they are the seed of Abraham uh -huh. are they all children. See, even neither because so, they're seed of Abraham are they all children, man. But in Isaac, but in who? But in Isaac, shall thy seed be called. Hey, this is going straight to the point, man. Hold up, let me read up. Read verse 8. That is, they which are the children of the flesh, uh -huh. these are not the Amen. children of God. That's right. That's the whole point. point. Nope. You have to understand those two well, times. Check this out. Those. Why did you call me up here? Why did you call me? I'm not touching anybody. I'm not touching anybody. I've done this and I'm not touching anybody. You call me up there. I assume to speak with you. May I call you up there because guess what? But you're not. You step back there because you know you. No, that's not why. You know you can't handle that. I'll tell you why. Because I know that once you talk to me, you're probably going to be. I want you to have a chance to say that. Now here's what I'm saying. Oh yeah. This is the this is not that. Now listen, I think it's important for everyone to have an understanding of what you believe. But here in John 1, what does it mean? It says, not according to flesh, not according to man. That, that disintegrates your doctrine. That's basically How did they, that, so, well, so let, they, me, let me finish. So they, that means all the world can come in after that, right? That's not what we believe in. So that, what we believe so that means only, all the world can come in after that. Number one. Number two. Number two. We keep reading the election. Number two. Number two. Yeah, 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 man, that's boots. That's why Matthew 28 says, Go to the Your doctrine can't properly explain Matthew 28. 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 Your do
Their doctrine also can't properly explain Acts 1 8, which is, Why a, they game, can't. Which is a game plan of where to go. Because guess what? And their doctrine can't explain the unfolding of the book of Acts in general. Especially, especially when Acts is before Agrippa and Edomite. It says, I wish you would become a Christian. I'm going to tell you. You see, I just keep rambling, but you never made it. You know never pulled in no scriptures. No scriptures. No scriptures. No scriptures. No scriptures. If you knew the Bible, yeah, you would yeah, know everything yeah, I'm saying. Yeah. When you ain't proven though, you just told. When Stephen is getting stolen at seven, he's yeah. not pulling out a scroll. Yeah. This is the book of Matthew. You're not Stephen. You're not from the one of the children of Israel. Now read. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 28, verse 19. Go ye therefore and teach all nations. Go ye therefore and teach all nations. Y'all got it, man. Y'all got it. Why do we got to teach all nations? Why do we? Why must we teach all nations? Why was it Yes. Because Jesus said, This is why we got to teach our nation. Bring it out, It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 4, verse 27. Bring it out. And the Lord shall scatter you among all the nations. That's what? why we got to teach our nation. That's right. Because Israel was spread it. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. That's what you're saying. Yeah. But the Greek, yeah. the Greek <laughs> guess what? doesn't have that preposition to look at. But guess what? It's not yeah. among the nations. <laughs> now, now we it's change it. Now, nation. now we now we change it's it. Nation. Now we want to go anyone, into the Greek, does right? Have the blue letter Bible we want, so uh, we don't believe everything about the blue letter. Watch what happens. We don't no, need our blue letter. But you understand this, this is right? a book of Deuteronomy, so chapter 28, verse 64. Bring that out. Hold on, hold on. Which you can't do. You said a lot of stuff up here that you didn't back on. Damn. That's right. 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 <laughs> no, you ain't so you, no, that wasn't a foolish place. You run, man. This is supposed to do the running except the 28. Bring that out. Huh? And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people. So, Lord, scatter us. And y'all knew this. This is part of the curse. That's right. Yes, this is part of the curse. They can see that it's talking about all they want to, but the scriptures don't. They don't fold, That's man. Right. That's right. Right. The one end of the earth, uh -huh. even unto the other. That's right. And there thou shalt serve other gods. Because just y'all know we doing this. And we can tell that we got a big old cool right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. This is the book of James, chapter 1, verse 1. Bring it up. James, a servant of God oh, and of the Lord Jesus Christ, to the 12 tribes which are scattered abroad. Oh, oh. Well, guess what? The 12 tribes are scattered abroad. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. If that, don't, that ain't making no sense, we scene. got scripture after scripture showing you how we were scattered. That's, that's, that's right. right. And you know that just like we know that. That's no matter how you want to put that, man. It literally says, means all nations. It doesn't say among the nations. You're added to the word of God. I'm not adding. That's, you're literally added to the word of God because you're not reading that, but just talking. Just like the boys, ain't none of them reading that. Literal words. Yeah, that's literal words. Words. Yeah, but you're going, you're going into the blue letter. But you don't need in the scriptures, man. That's right. Right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, what you said. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. This is James. 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 Guess what? Yeah. yeah. He so, the Greek word so, so, so God not to call this people. Right? So you want yeah. to bring up the Greek text? So don't get to talk again. Yeah, you got to cut right. again. I know. Right. Yeah, I'm going to bring up the Greek text. Yeah. Ignorance. Yeah, it's ignorance. Yeah, I know. It sounds good. Any message means all nations, right? <laughs> See, but the thing is, you still not showing me out the scriptures, man. That's right. right. You're not showing me. Watch this. Go back. Let's go there. Okay, you show me the Greek. Let me show you James. Go back to James. Hey, bring it out. Bring it out. Bring it out. Bring it out. Care so what the Bible actually So says. you don't care about you to run me chapter that's, 4 verse 27. That's what you so that's what you call me. Here's a major mistake you made. <laughs> you went to the Old Testament with your false interpretation. So I went to the Old Testament and, tried, and did what? And try to interpret something in light of your false interpretation. And could so how was that false right. interpretation? Because it says possible and not all nations. See, but look at look, I'm, this out for you. you. This doesn't say all. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's not in Genesis. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It doesn't say hold on, hold on. It literally says all nations. Hold on, hold on, check this out. That's a bit different. Check this out. 
You see what I'm saying? You see what? You see what? You see what's going on? You trying to find a way out? We going back to John chapter one, though. Ain't no way out. Ain't no way out. What you got? What you got? Let him talk, man. Get up there, Mike. Get your ass on. They were not here dying alone. Hey, so we can't find them. So we can't say ass now. Can't find them. We can't say ass. Let's get that. Hey, y'all trying to be? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. No, no, no. He's good. He's good. Read that out. What was rebuked? Let's go, man. Do not ask me. Tell me how when I bring up what he No, because this go back to John chapter one. But possibly. Hey, y'all sister, bro, y'all chill out, man. We good, man. Y'all chill out, man. Y'all chill out. Y'all what, man? This one, 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 if y'all didn't want to hear it, sis, then we got it. We ain't making nobody come over here, sis. We ain't making nobody come over here. No. Why the church is teaching hate? Why is the church is teaching hate? What's the reason for y'all to hate? Y'all hate white people. Y'all really hate all old people. Four, 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 two, four, 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 I know, I know. You heard, you heard though, sis. You going through some stuff. That's, I can see it in your eyes. You going through some stuff. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's my brother looking at you like, dang, sis. He know you going through some stuff. Yeah, I know. G. Read. This is the book of Mark, chapter 4, verse 14. Read that out, huh? Read it out. The sower soweth the word. I read. And these are faith by the wayside. I read. When the word is sown. By the word is sown, read. But when they have heard, uh -huh. Satan comes immediately. So you ain't never said that is fear. That's right. That's all they need, man. That's right. Since you're trying to say that we teach you hate, we come out of the same Bible. They come out of the same We teach you hate, man. Come on, let's stop, man. Get what? And Jesus, and get what? And Jesus, so if Jesus come back here to, if Jesus come back here to, 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 uh, Pass out flowers, or is he come back here to uh uh bring to the word? So what scripture is that? You talk to what scripture? What scripture? Y'all talk, we literally read what the Bible, man. Read. These, the book of Proverbs, chapter 6, verse 16. Bring it out. These 16. Do the Lord hate. Do who hate? Do the Lord hate. We ain't going to look. Come on. Hold on. Hey, 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 it's a lie. No, it's not. No, it's not. Why would he make a crash? Ask him. 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 God doesn't hate based on race. Like that's exactly that. Quit trying to go. You're a liar, boy. You're a liar, boy. You're a liar. 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 You
with your running ass, man. Everybody in Israel give you way too much time, man. I hate that. God hates the sin, but not the sinner. He hates the sin, but not the sinner. He hates the sin, but not the sinner. Tell him to FBI, what's the truth here? Yeah, 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 you got it. Oh. You got it, Axe. Y'all don't know the Bible, man. Y'all just talking about the Bible. You got that read. The book of Sirach, chapter 12, verse 6. Listen up. For the most high hated sinners. God hates sinners. He hates the sinners. He hates the sinners. You see, people would like a dialogue, and it would be beneficial. For the most high hated sinners. For the most high hated sinners. Read it yourself. Read it yourself. The most high hate is this. Chapter 5, verse 5. Bring that out. Oh, cool. Shall not stand in thy sight. Thou hatest Thou all workers of iniquity. He hated all workers of iniquity. I'm glad he, somebody over here teaches because guess what? You don't want to listen to us. Right. Give me Ecclesiastes chapter 3 and see if he sees the law again. Man. All right, bring it out. I'm oh, just talking, man. Talking about God what? don't hate. Real what? If God don't hate, then why do God have enemies then? Oh, okay, I'm talking about hate. Yeah, come on, let's go. Y'all, y'all, y'all be tripping, man. Read. The book of Ecclesiastes. To their own destruction. As they do the other things. The book of Ecclesiastes. Chapter 3, verse 7. Bring that out, huh? A time to win and a time to sow. A time to keep silent and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate. What's the Bible say? And a time to love. A time of war and a time of peace. Yelling doesn't show you right. Yeah. Yeah. Talk is soft. Talk is soft. They push me out. Talk is soft. No, you said you believe. Talk is soft. Don't make the answer right. That's right. That's right. But I'm not talking soft. It does not. I'm forward. I'm correct. I'm correct. No, you are not correct. Because you are wrong. See, we're not asking you to God hate you. Come to yes no question. When you start going around the thing, you start going around the thing. God hates wickedness. God hates wickedness. God don't hate racism. So God don't hate racism. Well, I didn't say God don't hate racism. I said you said God. If he did, he would hate all. Yeah, his ass playing. God don't hate racism. What I said is God hates, but not based on race. God hates wickedness. So God hates. Let me show you wickedness. What you're doing every week. Where you twist exactly. the Bible no, and man, deceive people, that's wicked. Explain Romans 9 and 13. You play Romans 9 and 13. Explain Romans 9 and 13. I will. Go ahead. Romans 9 and 13. Explain Romans 9 and 13. Go ahead. 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 Explain
you never explained how that's only Israel because it yep. says everyone. You who never explained in this it's all nations. It says it's everyone. True. You never explained it's it. Only, so, so you're leaving John one now. Come on, yeah. you can't say in the text. It says, does it say yes or no? Everyone who believes on Hold on, sinner. Hold on, sinner. You know what it says. Everybody on the to race of gender. Understand what the dick, the scriptures are what dictate the context, right? We're reading specifically who the sons of God are. Right. And you what know these things. That's what it says. Give me Luke what chapter thing? 3. Uh, you give me Sirach. It's what telling thing? you plainly. Y'all want to dictate the context. The this scripture got to dictate the context. Everyone, 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 everyone who believes in this thing. Everybody. 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 You got to pull me a scripture that says that all nations are the sons of God. You are not doing it. You're not doing it in the Bible. We're actually going to read it, and I'm going to give it back to you. Read this right quick. Huh? John 1 is your answer, but you left it. Uh, so you ask me a question and you leave it in place. Right, right, right now we're going to deal with the sons of God it because you're trying to say who not, it is. Not according to the flesh. Doesn't it say that? Yes, it says that. But we read Romans 9 to give you the context of that. not according to the will of man? Yes. Right, so your definition based upon blood is shot. It's no, it is not because Romans 9 kills that. Romans 9 kills that vocabulary. You know that. When you go to Romans 9, it's telling you, Romans 9 tells you, uh, Israel, Israel, Israel are not Israel. Esau, they are not God's church. God's church comes through a specific lineage. So you have to read right quick. We'll go there. We'll go there. We'll read verse 38. Bring it out. Which was the sons of Enoch? Which was the sons of Seth? Which was the sons of Adam? Which was what? Which was the sons of God? So it's giving you the lineage. Most high God, would you agree, always deal with a specific lineage? Would you agree? It literally says the opposite in John 1. It says not according to the will of the flesh. No. That's why when you go to Romans 9, you don't have the correct interpretation of that. That's why it's very imperative that you go precept upon precept. Let the scriptures take the context. You're trying to do the opposite. Titus 3 9 says, do not deal with foolish genealogies. Over here, you got a whole tribe of genealogies. No, because we're showing our people according to the Bible. Yeah, guess what? Even when you read the book Genesis chapter 49, it's outlining the characteristics the brother, on how we know the who these wanna, people are to today. Let's go and deal with the flesh right quick. Let's, let's, let's deal with the flesh. Let's go back to I'm Romans 9. Genesis 49 in a heartbeat, right. especially yeah. Issachar. Yeah. We're going to go back to Romans chapter 9 verse 7 because right. right. we're going to give you the understanding of what it means by the flesh. Romans chapter 9 verse 7. The Holy Reaches The book of Romans chapter 9 verse 7. Bring it out. Neither because they are the seed of Abraham are they all children. Meaning what? Just because you come about out of the lineage of Abraham don't make you a child of God. That's the Bible right. is going to explain the who the Lord children of God the are. We don't. But in Isaac. But in what? But in Isaac. Guess what? Abraham had who? Ishmael and Isaac. Ishmael was what? Passed off. He had Jacob and Esau. Esau was passed off. This is what this is going into, and you see that. You know what? Neither because they are the seed of Abraham are they all children. So just because God created them don't make everybody a child of God. That's right. right. Uh, but in Isaac. But in who? But, but in, in Isaac. Isaac. We don't not shall they seed be called. Seed comes through Isaac. We don't not. Verse 8. That is, they which are the children of the flesh. Read that again. That is, they which are the children of the flesh. This is to this. Read this again. That is, they which are the children of the flesh. Now hold on. Okay. Who are the children of the flesh? Who are the children of the flesh according to Romans 9? All right. Uh -huh. I need a great help. Uh -huh. That's right. Break that part down. Don't go no fault. 
Y'all are below. Earlier in the book, in regard to the circumcision of the heart. Uh -huh. Y'all are the lost. Y'all are the lost. What is circumcision of the heart? It's not a physical thing. It's literally, it's literally a spiritual word. It refers to the generation of the heart. No, not in all contexts. Guess what? The word circumcision and uncircumcision has many different definitions in the Bible. It can refer to what? The northern and the southern tribe? That's right. It can go into sacrificial life. That's right. It can go into you keeping us That's right. You know, That's right. I don't right. know what's so going on. I don't know what's going on. Okay. I got one thing to say. Hold up. We want to deal with this. No, no, we go. Jesus way down. Read this right quick. Read this right quick. My Jesus way down. They got witties. They was on this side. They got demons on them. You put them on. Yeah, yeah, you put them demons on. You put them demons on them. Yeah, yeah. Take control of the demons now. That's Read right. that though. For no one is a Jew mm -hmm. who is merely well, one outwardly, uh -huh. nor is circumcision outward and visible. Uh -huh. But a Jew is one inwardly. Yeah. Circumcision is a matter of the heart by the spirit, not by the letter. The phrase is not for man, but for God. And that's going into what? The sacrificial law, but it's also going into what? Guess what? Can I now become a spiritual Chinese man? Bring it out, out. Can I become a spiritual East Indian? Bring it out, out. Answer that. If Jesus is man. Stop, man. Stop. Okay. So this is the same context. Go ahead. I like the question, but with apples and oranges. Here's why. If Jesus was a Chinese man, which he wasn't, then you knew with him what he did to the Chinese man. But since he was a Jew, Israelite, you knew with him. Does mean you are spiritually Israel. No, that's it does the not mean that. You're yeah. inserting that uh, vocabulary, yeah, not from the text, this time. That's the problem all. that we okay. have. And I know you do it purposely, because you play on our people's ignorance. Hold up, because we're not through dealing with the flesh. Let's go back to Romans 9. I understand, I understand. Let's go back to Romans 9. So who are the children of the flesh? Okay. According to Romans 9 and 7. That's talking about literal sheep. Okay, okay, so who are the children of the flesh? Like who was the leader of the sheep? No, let's go back to Romans 9. Read that out. Romans chapter 9, verse 7. Neither because they are the sheep, should I, neither because they are the seed of Abraham, are they all children. So just because you come up out of Abraham don't make you a part of God's church. Because guess what? The hell might didn't come through Abraham. So guess what? They wouldn't even be counted. So that's that term, what? Father Abraham? But all nations didn't come up out of Abraham. That's right. Up. Neither because they are the seed of Abraham are they all children. But in Isaac. But in who? But, but in, in Isaac. Isaac. Specific seed, sons are. Shall thy seed be called? Shall thy what? Shall thy seed be called? Now we gonna get who the call is. Read this out. The book of Isaiah, chapter eight, verse twelve. Bring it out. Hearken to me, O Jacob. O who? O Jacob. Guess what? It's giving you the context and the people and the audience is giving the message to. Read on. And Israel. And who? And Israel. My call. So it's all people called according to that scripture. Okay. All praise. Okay, hold on, hold on. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Saying that the spiritual element, first of all, now we got to continue on and watch what happens. Uh -huh. For you did not receive the spirit of slavery to fall back in the fear, but you received the spirit of adoption. Yeah. Who is the adoption bring for? It bring, it bring it out. Bring, bring it out, man. All those who believed in his name. Show me your scripture. John, John 1, 12. Show, show me your scripture. Yeah. 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 Show me yeah. your scripture. Yeah. John 1, where we yeah. 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 don't have adoption in there. I got it. Show me that. Wait, being kind of sons of God. Nah, show it to him, man. No, no, no. He full of shit. He full of shit, boy. Where's liberty pulling the words out of the scriptures to dictate the content? Who believed in his name? Okay. He gave the right to become children of God. Okay, yes, now guess what? <laughs> you have an author. Hold up. You have an author and an audience that you are talking to. Who is the author? No disagreement. Holy Spirit. Now, who is the. But oh, a human I, I give you that. Paul, but guess what? Who's the author? Scripture. John 20. This See, I'm going to do what you're no, not you. doing. Oh, this, okay. this book is written so that you may receive salvation. Go to the end John 20. Who is salvation oh, for? All those who believe in his name. No. Oh. Give me a scripture now. Man. Man. Read. Well, 
Joshua. We finna read it. Joshua 4. Read it now. Acts 2. Acts 2. Acts 2. Acts 2. Acts 2. Verse 4. Bring it up. Who are you like? To whom pertain the adopt? So the word pertain it means belong to. Read on up. And the glory. And the glory. Read that again from the top. Huh? Who are Israelites to whom pertain the adoption? It's telling you that the adoption belongs to the Israelites. Okay? So how do you fit all nations in there? So I got you. I know that's where you would go. What's that saying is, hey, Gentiles, No, he did not say that. Let me read it. Okay, he did not say that. I want to hear this. Read that. Read that. I can't even finish Read that. I want to see it. Something that's close against the natural branches. Why would he be telling that if they're already Because they were cast off from being his chosen people. Right. Folks have been missing their history. You know about no, that. Uh -huh. That's why he says, he takes the scripture that I'm rejecting. Because he says, I will make a people who were not my mind. He takes it and makes it refer to the Gentiles. Because if you're not God's people, what are you? He literally cast off the northern tribe. So they weren't his chosen people anymore. You know that That's according to That's Hosea chapter 1 verse 9. That's the original context. Uh -huh. But what he does is he makes it apply to all. No, you are inserting I'll that. I'll prove it though. Prove it. Okay, so when you go to Romans 9, doesn't he say <laughs> he that he's not his chosen people? Why would he need to say that? Why you that? Read it. <laughs> because what is that history going back to? All right. All right. And you know you're gonna dig yourself okay. in the ditch. No, no, I'm good. Go ahead. I'm good. 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 i am good 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 i am
be such as was in her vexation. When at first he lighted affliction, afflicted the land of Zebulun and the land of Nephtali. And the land of who? And the land of Nephtali. Afterwards, he did more people. Hold up, hold up. You got to pay attention to this. Go to Romans 9 and 1. Because I see you trying to slick, get up out of this. Read this again. You got to pay attention. Open that Bible up. And pay attention. Read this. Nevertheless, the demon shall not be such as was in her succession. When at first he laid a flicking in the land of Zebulon and the land of Naphtali. When he lightly afflicted them, read on out. Afterward, he more grievous, grievously afflict her by the way of the sea. He all joy in Galilee of the nation. So this is setting the tone, letting you know that guess what? It's going into the northern tribe. Read on out. The people that walk in darkness. Read that again now. The, the people, people that walk in darkness. These are the people. These are the Gentiles that walk in darkness. Read on out. Have seen a great light. Have seen a what? Have seen, seen a great light. Have seen a great light, which is what John wanted. What he left, going into Christ. Christ was sent to wake up the northern tribe, to put the family back together again, not to join all nations unto him. We do not. They that dwell in the land of the shadow of death. Read that again. Up. They that dwell in the land of the shadow of death. Upon them had the light shine. So it's letting you know, even when you fear through with Matthew chapter 4, verse 15, that is the prophecy being fulfilled, okay? And you know that. You know it. So you ask me a great question. Are there ever any Israelites called Gentiles? Yes. And it was one answer that was the Gentiles. We win. No, no. Why are they mistaken? Because you don't believe it. Read this. We're going. Preset. Hold up. Hold up. Now I understand. You don't have to say that because I know you slip. Now hold up. Hold on. I understand. Let me make this point. Now hold up. Hold up, okay. Let me make my point. I got to rebuttal to that. Isn't Romans nine a prophecy? It's a prophecy, oh, right? Exactly. So where was it fulfilled? I don't believe the end time or the Bible is fulfilled. No, I said where was that prophecy fulfilled? No, no, I understand that. That's not what I'm asking. I'm asking you in the context of Romans 9. Romans 9, verse 1 through 4 is giving you the context. It's telling you the land of Zebulun. Those were the people that sat in darkness. Meaning what? In a Gentile state of mind. Matthew 4 and 15 is the fulfillment of that. But Christ went to those people to wake them up. That is literally showing you that the northern tribe are being called Gentiles in the right. right. So what don't you agree with that? Okay, we can't go on till we agree. I mean, till we... Do you explain that? Where do you disagree with that? It's literally saying Zebulon and Naphtali. Aren't those northern tribes? Vocab, aren't those northern tribes? Okay, then. You go out there. Let's get that. Go down to verse uh, 25 because he's making a reference. Read this. Uh, the book of Romans chapter 9 and verse... <laughs> I already explained this verse to you. No, we gotta go back. We didn't get through with this. Back, but it, you said it says it, it doesn't say it. You're inserting the Old Testament. No. Acting like it controls now, the Now, hold up. It doesn't. No, it doesn't. Show me a scripture that says that, vocab. You know that prophecies are being in the old and they have to be fulfilled somewhere. We agree with that. But what okay, so that's the same what thing. You do it is backwards. You gotta do it. No. Why? Because you're saying it no, because saying cemetery do. schools no, say that? No, 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 we're not taught by cemetery no, schools. We taught by the most high like God. That's right. Because of Luke 24. Okay, can I show you Luke 24 now? 24 and what? 44? Yeah, we know. Uh -huh. <laughs> Go ahead. Verse 27. Uh-huh. Beginning with Moses and all the prophets, he interpreted to them in all the scriptures the things concerning himself. That's right. And so my point by that is what I was saying about old and new relationship. Christ's fulfillment controls the narrative of what's happening in the old. You have to filter everything in Christ. If you drop the ball, hold on. We are. I'm, hold up. I'm glad that that's you said right. it. Guess what? what Christ is. is throughout the whole Bible. Amen. That's right. So all that is being fulfilled through Christ. Let's get this. Read this. I, well, hold up. Hold you're up. Not, you're not doing that though in Romans 9. I am doing that. All we're doing is reading things in context. The context is what? 
things that pertain to the Israelites. You got that from one West, not from the Bible. Man, we got that from the Most High God. So you saying the Most High God can put on word means to understand the scriptures because we keep the commandments. Then we're going to deal with do we have to keep the law. Let's go back to Romans. Read this. Because of Romans chapter 9, verse 25. As he has said also in Hosea, I will call them my people, which were not my people. Read that again. I, as he has said in Hosea, I will call them my people. As he also said in Hosea, we know that's what? Translated to Hosea. So he's referencing what? The book of Hosea. Why would he reference that if it's not talking about it? So you just mean to tell me everything falls in line but that. So it's not talking about, guess what, the northern tribe and the Gentile state of mind? Ask me a question, and I reference Hosea reference earlier before already. You remember that? Yes. And what I was saying is what's going on there, which we're going to have a difference here, which is this is originally a context, a religious, the Israelites in the Old Testament context. We're having a difference because you're not letting the text dictate the context. That's what we're having a difference. All you have to do is just read it. Let me show you why. The New Testament's got to allow the New the Old Testament prophecy. So look at Romans chapter They nine. both are properly in sync with each other. Y'all right. trying to take Amen. the New Amen. Testament over the Old Testament. Girl, and girl. you can't no, no, no. do that. No, right. unless you have the proper lenses on the Old Testament, it doesn't make sense. Now look at Romans. That's the, you just answered your own question. Since y'all don't teach the Old Testament, you don't understand the prophecies lining up. That's, right. That's the problem. Read this, huh? Right. The book of Romans chapter right. 9, verse 25. And he said, also he will say it. I will call them my people. My what? My, my people. people. Which were not my people. Who are God's people that were not his people? What is this context going back to? That's why it's important to read. You can go to the lake of fire. You can go to captivity. Hold on. Go ahead. And you read 924? Yes. Jump up the verse. Because I'm glad you said that. We'll read that. Read verse 24. Only the book of Romans chapter 9 verse 24. Even us whom he had called, not of the Jews only. Which is what? Southern tribe. Yes. Who were called the Jews? No, no. Were all Jews. Jews. It was all twelve tribes called Jews. Now I can agree with that with some sense, but in this context, that's why you got to have what spiritual discernment. You're not having good discernment, and you're not rightfully dividing the word, and you know that. No, I don't know that. Yes, you do. Why would I? Because you're the devil, bro. You know that. You're the devil. Right. 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 But I won't call you the devil, but you are deceived by the devil. No. Right. Read this. Show you? No. Even Let me go back, because we want to stay on Sunday. If you are an Israelite, you're a devil, just like Jesus described. The Pharisees of his day. But how do we know? Guess what? Because you have not We got the fruits. The what are the fruits of the word? What are the fruits of going to the Bible? What are they? That's a simple question, Vocab. Read me a scripture that shows us what the fruits are. And misinterpreting scripture on purpose. Because it what are the fruits of the scriptures? What are the fruits of the spirit? Peace. Long suffering. Joy. Peace. Love. Well, hold up. Stop there. What is love according to the Bible? And you know love does not seek its own. Love? There we go. Uh, I'm telling you, see, 1 Corinthians 13. No. Why is that funny? Because we go. you I know you're know. being deceitful. Now we're going to actually read the love. Bring it out, Art. Bring it out, Art. Now concerning spiritual children, brothers, I will not have you ignorant. Ye know that ye were Gentile, carried away unto these dumb idols, even as ye were late. Because what? Some of the southern tribe and mainly the northern tribe, they were. What you see of reading into? Where the hell does it say any of that? Southern tribe, northern tribe. It don't say that. It says it's Gentiles. All it says is Gentiles. So what is the definition of Gentiles? Hey, what is the definition of Gentiles? Hold up. What is the definition of Gentiles, vocab? Is it all the time? Is it? Yep, we already went over this. Well, let's get the Zondervan right quick, man. Wait, wait, you want to use the Zondervan? Yes, we use that. We use historical books if it fills oh, through the scriptures. Y'all just use that, man. You got it. We got it. Yeah, 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 Listen to what I said. It's it filters through the Bible. You understand me? Read it. Just like the book of Josephus, we don't take everything. But if it filters through the scriptures, we agree with it. Yes, it was. Read this. This is the Compact Bible Dictionary. 
the word Gentile. Usually. Read that again. I, usually. You're being deceitful because you know it refers to Israelites being in a Gentile state of mind. You know that, real? Usually, it means a non-Israelite people. So that means sometimes what? When this has the word Gentiles in there, it could be referring to what? Answer the question. Answer the question. Text text star. Star. Now it says Gentiles. Text 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 star. Usually, you say word Gentile. So they're Gentile. no longer Gentiles. Usually. Hold up, read it again. Usually. usually. Read that again. Usually. usually. My brother, I know you understand, guess yep. what? Yep. English. And read that again. That usually, means. it means a non-Israelite people. So that means right. sometimes the text could be referring to what? Israelites in a Gentile state of mind. Why does the Bible ever say there's a category of Israelites both? in a Gentile state of mind? And not use the word, According to this. Not use the word Trash Hellenistic. Star. Wait, you, that's where you have different translations. Now, this was oh, made easy. You can more. read in it's the NLV, like how six our six brothers got. So Kyrie did that's you that one time. Well, it literally said it in there. Yeah, yeah, they 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 so so the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 12, and verse 2. And ye know that ye were a Gentile. Carry the weight unto these dumb idols. Give me Ephesians chapter 2 verse 11. You're not reading the same passage, but it proves our oh, yeah, point. No, it doesn't. So because the Gentiles were once pagan acting, and now they're Christians. No, that is not. Show us that yeah, in the scriptures, Galatians okay? Galatians 3, 28, literally. Under, Who is the book of Galatians written to? The church of Galatia. Oh, my goodness. Let's get it. Give me Galatians chapter 1 verse 1. Galatians, when like, so you don't understand. See, y'all read the Bible and separate. The context of the scripture is guess what? The Israelites were scattered among them and united. Okay? If you think they're trying to show, oh, I'm assuming this is only the Israelites, it makes you be able to escape out of all these clear passages. But reading Galatians on one doesn't enable you to misinterpret Galatians. It's setting the tone and the context is giving us the author and the audience who he's giving. The message right to the, read this out. the book of Galatians, <laughs> chapter 1, verse 1. Paul, an apostle, not of men, neither by man, but by Jesus Christ, and God the Father, who raised him from the dead, and all the brethren which are with me, and all the who, and all the brethren which are with me, were the Israelites scattered among all nations. So this wouldn't be unfathomed that he could be talking to Israelites. Well, Look at that, that, that does follow. No, we don't want to go no. no could it be? Could it be unfathomed that this could be addressed to the Israelites scattered in Galatia? Sure, if God was like you, but He's not. Show me where that, they're saying that. Galatians yeah, God, not. If you are Christ, uh -huh. if you are Christ, then so this is if then if this condition is met, it's logical to follow. If you are Christ, then you are Abraham's offspring. We understand that. Now, hold on, hold on. Check this out. Right Where does that, it determine right Abraham's before that, seed? Right before that, it says Jew and Gentile. Now, here's the thing. If you are not a Christ, are you considered Abraham's offspring? Biblically speaking. Listen to me. Wait, could you answer that yes or no? You wanted to Guess what? You got to be keeping yes, Christ and saying. the commandments. Okay. But you're still an Israelite even if you don't keep the commandments. That's right. That's right. You're just a wicked Israelite. That's right. right. That's right. But Romans 9 gives you the understanding. You just can't lump everybody in now. You got to go with what the text say. Abraham had what? Ishmael and Edom. They were cast out. This is talking the most high God is so telling you who the chosen is, and you've been slipping with that. Where is the history of the Greek captivity? So we will hold up, hold up. Let's stop there. Because I know you don't agree with the book of the Apocrypha. Where is the Greek captivity? Where is the history of that? Okay, come on, we got to deal with this in order. I'm going to Galatians 3. It is those of faith who are the sons of Abraham. We already set the tone who the audience so, is. Who are the sons of Abraham? The sons of Abraham goes through the lineage. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Wait, wait, According wait. to Romans 9, read, I'm not just saying nothing. I'm quoting scriptures. What is Galatians 7, though? It doesn't say what you said. Give me Galatians chapter 4, then verse 1. Read this. Isaac, Galatians chapter Isaac. 4, verse 1. Now I say that the heir, as long as he is a child, different. Nothing from a servant. From a what? From a servant. Meaning a brother on the Lord's state. We don't know how. Though he be Lord of all. We don't know. But is under but is under tutors and governors uh -huh. until the time appointed of the, the Lord. Lord.
bondage under the elements of the world. Oh, but when the but when the fullness of the time was come, God sent forth his son, made of a woman, made under the law. Made under the what? Made, made under the law. Made under the what? Made under the law. Cap, you know who was given the law. And it's cut, guess what? That immaculate deception. That's right. Given to a woman made under the law by sex. Immaculate deception. We believe in the virgin birth. We don't no, in same thing, thing, man. No, it's thing. not the same Tomato, thing. tomato. No, it's not. Because you won't read that in the scriptures. Because guess what? Luke tells you it should be a performance of these things. If I can't Riches. explain nothing, uh -huh. I'm good. Man. I can stand toe to toe with you. You can, but, but, but you got to use scripture. You got to use the We're scripture. Not, you brought up a doctrine. I'm explaining to you. Now, with scripture. Okay, we know what you teach. Okay, look up immaculate conception in the Donovan. We understand it could be a no, you don't. doctrine. No, it's a virgin birth are two separate things. Man, it's going into, it's basically going into the same thing. The immaculate conception is a claim that Mary herself was sinless. We are not Catholics. We don't believe it. Stop saying we believe it. Man, in the it's a doctrine. Liar. Guess what? It is not a doctrine. Based upon guess what? two same points. No, it's Read not. This Mary is not Verse a sinner. Verse 4 of Galatians. Verse chapter 4. But when the fullness of the time was come, uh -huh. God sent forth his son, made of a woman, made under the law. Read on up. To redeem them that were under the law. To do what? To, to redeem, redeem them, them that were under the law. law. To what up? To, to redeem, redeem them, them that were under the law. law. He's telling you plainly to redeem them that were Bring under the law. Bring it all all Bring nations it were under the law, man. Let's get that. Give me Psalms 1, uh, uh, 139 verse 19. Bring it up. 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 Because you know the they want to, they don't even say nothing. Oh, Read this, aunt. The book of Psalms, chapter 139 and verse. Ah, uh, no. Y'all know what the, uh, uh, oh, uh, the law. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Who the law was given yeah, to? Read this, aunt. 147, verse 19. Read it out. He stored this word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He had not dealt so with any nation. Okay, if you got to deal with Galatians 4 and 5, who was under the law? He came to redeem them that were under the law. Were all nations under the law? No. Read this again. Huh? The, borders amongst the book of Psalms, chapter 147. Say it again. The borders amongst Israel were one law for you and the stranger. You don't have <laughs> to You, yes, we do. Who, how many types of definitions does the stranger have? It's two types of strangers in the Bible. You got the strangers of the other nations, and then guess what? You can have Israelites that was in a strange, that was strangers. Tell you the Bible, chapter 26, verse 35. We can get that for you. It's two types of strangers. Now he good, he good, he good. Do you agree? Hold up, do you agree that it's two types of strangers? Yeah, we don't let anything push you back. Bree! <laughs> Man, you know that just for two days. Oh, I was right beside you. You okay, you okay. But isn't it, isn't it two types of strangers? You don't need to be protected by all your business. Okay, we know you got no, we we okay, you know you got destroyed with the with the glory of the most high God. Yes, you know Hell, bro. Strangers got the same law as the Israelites. Who does that pertain to? The stranger amongst you. Go to Deuteronomy 23, 7 and 8. It's going to smash your one west and bits. Because what it tells you, bro, please be quiet. I'm talking. That's a real Get your devil in line, man. This is the preaching 25, 35. It says that nobody's going to hate you. Until. Until. Which means once that time comes, they can't. Now you, it also says the same thing about the Edomites. Proving other nations that are not banned forever, such as Ammonites, right? They're over here. Other nations can enter. And when it says until that time. Now we know some nations will be there in the kingdom. So you're over but there. But we know there's plenty of scriptures about Esau going strictly into damnation, according to Obadiah, according to Jeremiah, according to Isaiah 63. I mean, there's so many scriptures that we know they'll be obliterated. Stranger passages are so convincing. One West interpretation is in the minority. I want to read this right quick. Israel of God. The biggest Hebrew There's two types of strangers. strangers. Do you she agree in the Bible? It, but this is super Do you agree that it's two types of strangers, though, Bopat? Understand what stranger foreigners are. You have the wrong understanding. Do you agree it's two types of strangers in the Bible? You gotta explain what you mean by Read this. The book of Leviticus, chapter 25, and verse 35. And your bright brother 
be waxing poor and fall in decay with thee. This then thou shalt relieve him. Yea, though he be a stranger. Though he be a what? A stranger. Your brothers can also be a what? A stranger. That's right. Now, you know, oh, so, so do you believe the text? Yes, you do you no, no. believe the text? Vocab. Yes, you probably understand. Vocab. That's a yeah. Let your yay be yay, your nay I don't believe one Westism. That's good. Yeah, that one Westism. What we just read. Literally, you don't understand. Stranger, so give us the on purpose. Go to Isaiah three, three through six. I'm sorry, Isaiah three through six. Oh, please go there. Give me Isaiah three through six, man. And there's plenty Follow of passages that go that. It's, it's showing that. you right there. You, you, never you, dealt, you never dealt with Deuteronomy 23 yeah. either. It we says they can, that. they can enter. But guess what? You when you read Amos yeah. chapter 1 verse 9, for them trying to destroy their brother, guess what? The most high God cast them off. So your interpretation of Amos cancels out Deuteronomy 23. Read this. Now who doesn't believe the Bible? Read this. We believe it. You can't let the text speak, bro. You can't let the text speak. Tim, what you want, verse 10? Yeah, they're going to be there for service. Read this, bro. What you want, 56 and 10? This is I know what you want. Hey, y'all don't do it. They try to make a video on the side. Man, I know. He don't deal good. with them, man. Talking but Jesus what you want, 56 and what? Yeah. He keep video on his side and talk to him, man. What you want? Right. Hey, we got to have order out here. Come on, man. You know the Bible is all about order. You know the scripture says, "Guess what? Let all things be done decently." What? You're not in your service. We're not at your headquarters. It's just a protocol. You're not Captain Asphalt. Come on, bro. That's America. You know what I mean? I'm Captain Ben and I all out here. 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 Captain Ben and I all out yeah, it's a six what do you think that We're going to go talk to GMS. I will say, I appreciate some allowance of a back and forth. And I don't just say that, I mean that. No, I understand. That's why we allow that, because our people got to let us see us destroy the devil without him. That's right. Our people got to do that, man, because you didn't do it. You didn't go to plenty of scriptures. Yes, we did. You just didn't agree with it. That's the whole thing. That's why. I don't do I can do a uh, dialogue, but when you don't agree with the text, that's where you know, it's Brother, different. you're the one saying stranger doesn't mean stranger. You don't I care. I didn't say that. You don't care I about said that it's two types of strangers. Okay. okay. And I just gave you proof. Is it, no, you're, you're assuming that a Gentile is not a brother, but you mess up because you forget to run Read this again. Leviticus, that's just reading. You forget about Caleb. You forget about Rahab. You forget about Uriah. 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 You forget about Join hand in hand with us in the king. They're going to be serving That's what Isaiah says. Isaiah 56 literally says that, and so does Isaiah 19. The book of Leviticus, chapter 25, verse 37. If any brother be waxed and poor, and fall in decay with thee, thou shalt relieve him, though he be a stranger. Though he be a what? A stranger. Your brother can be a stranger. That's saying it plainly in the text. Yes, because Israel had none. Israelites, that's why Gentiles are strangers. But they don't make them equal with the Israelites. You're trying to put everything on us. On oh, equality. That's why you got Deuteronomy okay. 76. First Peter chapter 2 verse 8. Or male and female made the same to God. Yes, male and female. Israelites. Oh, Adam was an Israelite now? Adam was an Israelite now? I didn't say that, but guess what? The Most High God has a specific lineage that he's dealing with. He dealt with uh, Adam. He dealt with Noah. He dealt with Abraham. He didn't know who to He was an Israelite. So, hold on. Adam's not an Israelite. Would you agree that God deals with a specific nation or a specific lineage? Would you agree with that? This is what's crazy. According to Luke, okay, just answer the question. Would you agree? Okay, we can't deal if you don't want to answer simple questions. Do the most like God deals with a specific lineage? Here's biblical history. Check this out. God we know biblical history, vocab. Let me I'm asking you a, a specific question. Okay, go ahead. God creates out of me. Uh -huh. They fall. Hey, hey, hey. All hey. humanity. Hey. 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 You trying to make a video, man. Don't be caught up. Go ahead. Then what you have is, after that, a non-Israelite is called out of a pagan territory, namely Abraham, right? 
What is the saying? Hold up, hold up, okay. Let me let me rebuttal real quick. But don't act like the most high God doesn't ever deal with a specific lineage. God deals with whoever he wants. Exactly. He deals with a specific lineage. That's why you can go to Luke chapter 3, verse 38, and it's showing you the genealogy of who the sons of God is. It's literally telling you that. That is telling you Enoch unto Seth, unto Adam, who are the sons of God. I'm glad you brought up the sons of God. That brings us back. Let me, hold on, let me read this. Give me Genesis 30 to the conversation. John 1.12. To prove to you what I'm saying. I don't want to just talk. John 1.12, right? This is the book of Genesis, chapter 9, and verse 26. Uh -huh. And he said, Blessed be the Lord God of Shem. Read this again. Hold And he said, Blessed be the Lord God of Shem. So if it was Ham, Japheth, and Shem, why did God only say, Blessed be the Lord God of Shem, if he's not dealing with specific lineage? This letting you know God deals with specific lineage. Read it again. Huh? This is the book of Genesis, chapter 9, and verse 25. And he says, Verse 26, I like it. And he said, Blessed. Be the Lord God of Shem, of everybody, of Shem, of Ham, of Shem, of Japheth, of Shem. So why did he say that if he's Benjamin. dealing with all of them? God, okay? has, a, God has a plan which you have rejected. Can I explain how? Go ahead. I Through was, scriptures. I the Bible is about you. Through the Through the scriptures. Okay. What it says. Okay. Okay. I know where it is. Genesis Read it. 12. Like, but that's why I read First Peter 4 and 11. That's why he because read I can't it. believe your words. I got to well. believe the words of God. That's the Bible. right. Bring it out. You will say anything. All the nations of the Read it to me. You so have the nations been blessing the Israelites? Say what? Have the nations been blessing the Israelites? The seed of Abraham is going to bless all nations. And here's why. Read where it says that. Read it, okay? Read where it says that. Man, come on, man. Everybody knows there. You know what's there. We know. We know. But we don't believe your interpretation then of you, it. That's the whole read, point. Read it for me. That's fine. Genesis 12 says, I will use you to bless hey, all the families of the book, earth. That's all the bring it out. Give me Genesis chapter 17, verse 15. That's Let's get it. Because guess what? Did Sarah, did all nations come through Sarah? Black history book. Yeah, it's the black history book. Yeah, it's the black history book. Yeah, the black history That's right. That's right. That's exactly right. We're talking about the whole back. No praise to the most high God. But it's going to come a time when you have to pick a side. I'm drunk, I go by. You have to pick a side. Oh, clap. Hey, the most like God can put his spirit on anybody. Can't God do what he want and use anybody? Oh, praise. What could you say that again? 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 Can't God do what he wants with anybody? Yes, he can. Thou shalt not call herself Sarah. God bless. But Sarah. Hey, you know we can't wish you God bless, man. According to first John, man. We can't beat you. We can't beat you, farewell, man. Come on, man. You know you're the devil, both of Hey, that's right. Stop playing, man. Keep the commandments. Keep the commandments, man. Repent as an Israelite, man. That's right. Repent as an Israelite, brother. Stop all of YouTube guys. Repent. That's what you gon' get with that war. War during my 51 and 20. Battle axes, God's weapons of war. We don't battle axes, God's weapons of war. We on the corner and we ready for war And I know you ain't seen nothing like this before We the battle axe is God's weapons of war We the battle axe is God's weapons of war